Some cool stuff from Gel Science Week, it's still going on. And here's some cool projects that I saw. Um, this one is by Artsiana. And um, this is uh, mix water gel, sand gel, and metal gel to make a magnifying glass gel. The magnifying glass gel can help you see things up close in the virtual world. You can, see, you can say it's like the zoom button in gel form. If you mix the magnifying gel with any other specific gel, then it'll make specific gel look up more close. So that's kind of interesting. I wouldn't say I would necessarily use the magnifying gel, but I like the idea of maybe using a gel that kind of amplifies maybe the grass or something else so it makes it more dense. Kind of like what you suggested here. Um, so I'm going to approve this. Um, it was an interesting idea. So that's one thing. Here's another one by Lion Feather. And this is the fire gel. Adds warm colored flames to the drawing. Flames. Uh, move if possible. Mixed with the scale gel adds a reptile like texture of scales to create a flaming dragon gel. So that's kind of cool that you can mix these two types of gel and maybe we have little dragon pets that kind of pop up if you mix certain gels together. So I really like that idea. Um, and then if you mix that dragon gel with ice or that dragon with ice gel, you get an ice dragon gel or a leaf gel. So you get a leaf dragon gels or water gel. So I think it's really cool to kind of be able to sculpt dragons like that. I like that idea. What do you think of it? Um, I'm going to go ahead and approve it. <coughs> By the way, some of you asked that you wanted to see all the approved ones, and I'm working and we're working on it so that you will have a link so that you can see the approved ones once they're. Um, once they're approved. Okay, and I think I'm gonna do one more. So who am I gonna cover? Um, let's try Animal Archer, okay? And fertilizer gel must be placed on the ground to make a soft mud gel mix for seeds. Then put sap gel or fruit gel in the fertile mud. Water it even more with water gel. Mix water gel with fertilizer gel and that particular plant gel to get a quick grow formula. After a certain period of time, the tree, bush, plant, or whatever grows, you know, harvest. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of mixing stuff to create crops and forests and stuff like that. So I think that's an interesting idea. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and approve that. Okay, and so um, remember, Gel Science Week is still going on, so you can definitely still submit ideas. Um, thanks for all of the su submissions so far. I've tried to approve as many as I could, and I'll do some more. I'll get caught up today. Now let's go on to Ask CCH. Okay, so let's see. I think this is the one I... Um, okay, yeah, so this is, this is one that <coughs> I've... Uh, I haven't covered yet. So, okay. So MAJ asks, how are you doing with the week projects? Um, they're moving along. I mean, someone else is working on them. So I'm really excited. I think the next week will be gel base week. And um, I think there'll be more details on that soon. Luna the Nightmare asks, what do you do when you're not working on DC or any other games? I'm experimenting on new ideas related to coming up with ways to improve DC and Chroma Club. So really, that's what I'm doing right now. It's really intense. Um, it can be challenging at times, but it's fun. Aidenator the Extraterrestrial asks, DCH, sorry for yelling, are you in a love relationship? If so, do you have kids? Um, yeah, so I'm going to first of all actually answer that question by Aidenator. Um, no, I'm not in a love relationship and I don't have any kids right now. So um, thanks for the question. Uh, I guess it was a little too personal, but okay. Um, how do you upload photos? That's by Nash13. And I'm going to go to profile. And um, what you do is you go to main store and you go to extras and you go to um, photo uploader, right? And, um, and then you can buy the photo uploader and then once you buy it, that's the project and you have to fill it out. So then you go to your projects area and you'll see the, you can, you, you'll fill it out here. So that's how you, take or how you get into uploading photos you need to get the photo uploader audrey f asks how do i draw a wolf um you can find some of the bases some people have made bases um and try to buy the bases from them and then use that to kind of either trace or to color in darth kalisa asks when will the next update to dc be and i have an idea for the next update you should add sound and we can make like little videos and stuff and yeah actually that's what i mean like you know someone asked me okay what do i do when i'm not working on dc i'm doing these experiments so that we can have video and that we can have sound so i'm looking into those things i'm really excited about adding those so yeah um okay little miss chan asks 
Um, what's your favorite song? Um, and I think I've had this question before. I think last time I said for techno it was um, Titch Yours or maybe um, Danny J or something. But for, let's say for pop, I would say um, Just Like Heaven by The Cure. Um, so that's one thing. Or Pictures, pictures of You, um, which is another one. And that is is also fun okay cch dch what's your favorite flavor of gum i would say um watermelon but i no actually you know what big red big red or juicy fruit those are good too so um what is your, okay and then finally or bill dip trash asks what's your favorite fruit and who drew the badges like for doodle of the day and stuff before one of the users on dc drew them um someone I, I, I hired someone to actually just draw the badges, but honestly, I prefer when the DC players or the CC players draw them. Let me know what you think. Do you actually prefer the previous badges or the new ones that players make? I really like the ones that players make, but uh, I'd like to have your opinion on it. As for my favorite fruit, um, pomegranate. I really like pomegranates, so I would say that. And Crow Feathers asks, how do you use colors, um, color codes and fades? If you want to know how to use color codes and fades, I would say check out, go to the clubs, go to search, type in um, fade club. Hang on. Or um, hang on, fades. Let me search for that. Okay, I think I'm going to have to. <laughs> but there's, um, hang on, fader. Let me try this. Okay, it doesn't want to work right now. Hang on, font code. But if you go to... <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't want to search. But anyways, if you type in like fade in the search, um, you'll see some fade clubs. And then you can, what you can do is you can go to their club and check out their projects. So check out, um, look at this, fade club. There's Here's one right now, which is fade club, right? And then, okay, this one, it doesn't exist right now but let's uh let's try this fade through fonts right so look they've got some projects i think i gotta make sure that this is faster so <laughs> i'll work on this but anyways look how to bold how to and so they have ideas for how to fade like orange to pink fade by cute food so there you go. You check some of the clubs and what they've created, and then boom, you can use that. Um, okay, so that's by Crow Feathers. And then finally, Donnie Fangirl asks, would you rather be able to talk to animals or be able to speak every language fluently? Um, I think being able to talk to animals would be cool. So yeah, I would, I would prefer that for now. We'll see. That would change maybe in the future. But for now, yeah, it would be cool to talk to animals. Okay, well, that's it for another Ask CCH. Thanks for the questions and embrace the power of the doodle. Take care.